Hey guys, we're back at the Death Ray Cat channel. This tune is On a Rope by Rocket from the Crypt. It sounds pretty simple, it is quite simple. I've been trying to figure out how they're playing it. There's a few different guitarists, I've got a feeling that they're playing different things in different ways. So what I've done is I've done four different ways you can choose to play your own version. I've done a dead simple version, which is just a single note one. This is a good place to start actually because we can get that rhythm in our heads. So we're starting on the second fret on the E string, going to the open E and back to the second. Repeating that, repeat again, then we're going to hit the open A and do another 202. So pretty simple, it's quite fast though. I'll play it slow for you. Okay, so far no problems. I've got two versions where I'm playing like a power cut. I'm trying to figure out what shapes they're playing on the live videos. It's kind of hard, they're moving fast. If anybody knows the right answer, please let me know in the comments. It might even be a drop D thing, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to play the exact same lead line, but we're going to add the power chord and the F sharp there. So start off with an F sharp power chord, second fret, first finger. Your ring finger's going on the fourth fret on the A string. Your little finger's going on the fourth fret of the D string. We're just going to play the exact same thing, but each time we're hitting the strings, we're going to play A and D string as well. So we're keeping this power chord shape, but just taking the first finger off. When we get to the A, we've got a few options, right? So what we can do is play just a little A chord there. A little A power chord, open A, second fret on the D and G. It's quite hard to move from there to there. It is possible, that's one version that I've written down. And the video that I've seen of Speedo playing, it seems like he's doing that. There's another version that's slightly easier, I think, for me. This is version 2 on the tabs, which you can get in the Patreon, by the way. It's the same idea, but instead of going for that A chord up there, all we're going to do is lift off the first and third fingers, leaving your little finger on the fourth fret there of that power chord and we're gonna let that open A ring out. But also your little finger's staying down as well. That's a bit easier for me. My final idea of what it could be, drop D tune in one. So what we wanna do is get your E, drop it down, one tone or two frets worth, get it to match the D, so you've got another D there, use the tuner, I'm not going to bother now, and then we're going to play the same riff but the E strings moved around a little bit, so this time it's going to be like this, we're going to play a power chord by just barring the lowest three strings, so on the fourth fret, use your ring finger on the fourth frets there. Now we're going to bounce between that and the second fret, so your first finger is going to be flat out on the second frets there. And when you come to the A part, it is quite easy to get there. So, are they playing in drop D tuning? I don't know. Let me know if you know. If Speedo's watching, maybe you can let me know.
Finally, the chorus, if we're playing in drop D, from the 12th to the 9th to the 4th to the 7th. If we're doing a power chords, we're going to be doing everything we just said but your first thing is going to be two frets lower and i know sometimes people struggle with the right hand rhythm for stuff i always think if you can sing it and you can hear it then it's easier to play so a little trick with that rhythm <laughs> right hand is hitting those same beats as the on a rope on a rope got me hanging on a rope so if you can think of that that's my little tip for you and that's all i'm going to show you today thanks for watching and let me know how you get on tabs will be in the patreon cheers see you later